Time to do it again on semi-final weekend in Yokohama. This time around, it is South Africa up against Wales. We're going again on semi-final weekend. South Africa v Wales, and it's a good handle from the kickoff via Ross Moriarty taking it towards the 22. And now checking the right back is Davis in his 50th test match. Sing it down the park to Dwayne Vermeule and he'll be happy to charge all night long. Takes three Welsh defenders to drop him. Pollard goes to the air early. And through, they swarm the bots, but it's taken beautifully by Halfpenny, and he gets some metres on the other side. Now held up, though, and this will most likely not come out. De Klerk, Nikosi. Nikosi, good leg drive through contact. Takes his team into the 22, and now with a penalty advantage. Fuff De Klerk with a hit and hope across for Mpimpi. He won't win that. Looping battle against George North, who is not happy with the contest. Andre Pollard very, really good with the first shot at the poles tonight. Into the breeze. No problem for Pollard. South Africa are on the board. It's 3 0. Davis. Good work again down this left hand side. North. Holding up for Adams. Adams, five tries already. This tournament for Adams. Ten away. They're offside there. South Africa, so now Wales, a chance to chance. They're on. Parks puts it in over the top. We're coming back to the mark, and they couldn't help themselves. So this time around, it is bigger with the breeze. Tough angle. goes and bigger and he black dots it 3 3 17 goal that's a world kick that big and that is a sensational kick really difficult angle stay strong stay strong now the way from south africa looking to juice the penalty and doing so nikosi out the back he goes for Pollard, who leaves the ball behind will come back to the mark and it's another penalty. Well, it's successful with his first nudge at the uprights. And he remains 100 from the tee. 6 3. No problems this time around for Etzebet and Bongi Umbadambi. It's a touch this genre at the back, but they've still managed to get themselves the penalty advantage here, South Africa. None coming. We'll go back to the mark. The infringement made by Ken Owens. They want to get some reward for all their territorial dominance to South Africa. Seven. The majority of the play so far, whether it be line out or scrum. Pollard is South Africa's all time point scorer at World Cups. And you can put another three on the score sheet for the number 10. Owens angling across the park. There's a big shot off the ball there. That should be a penalty. Will be. Bongi and Madumbi, bigger with a hit and hope. North pulls up really, really awkward on that far side. He's not 100. He's not 100 at all. That's the big story out of that run of play. George North has pulled up lame on that far side, chasing that ball. We're coming back for the penalty, but this isn't great for Wales. Both number 10s have been wonderful from the kicking tee tonight. Bigger pulls the margin back. The difference is three. And there is one to play in the first half. Kaplan is happy to quickly knock in the touch after the sharp play at the front of the line out. So that is 40 minutes of play in the rear view mirror. And at the break, here in semi-final number two, it is 
South Africa, who are up by three against Wales. No tries yet. Captain Green. Yeah. Moving again at Yokohama International Stadium. Wales v South Africa in semi-final. Number two, the winner. No, one. Stay back. Progressing to take on England next week. De Klerk looking downtown. Finds Halfpenny, who was ever dependable, dependable rather, as always, in that first 40 with his kick receipts. Davis in the midfield. Bigger to the skies. That one gets ugly, swirling around in the breeze, and it falls for Wales. Owens to the front. South Africa. Might be bigger stepping in the moment with a chance to take a shot at the poles. The two number nines collide there. The clerk doesn't know that it plays dead and it's like a couple of punchy little bulldogs going at it. Just angry, isn't he? Fuck the kick. He knows he's made the error. Just wants to make up for it. Into the teeth of the breeze here and bigger. Comes and he hammers it home. We're all square once more. Takes it on strongly. So too Peter Step to Troy. The clerk marks. Let's go the back for Pollard. Pollard dancing around the defense. Beats a couple. Pollard nearing the sticks. And now the penalty advantage as well for South Africa. De clerk somehow weaves it through the line. Still with South Africa, Dale Linde, Dale Linde, Dale Linde! He is deadly! We've got our first try of the night. What about the looping path through traffic and win the finish? Shot to nothing, Delandy. That's caused, big, caused bigger trouble all night. Superb. The wind kicks up a couple of knots. Pollard not troubled by it. The tension just got cranked up that little bit more. Bye. Under the shadows of the sticks here, Wales, with the feed to the scrum. In it goes, and the weight from the screen box is big. It forces a quick release. Davis across the line. Try, try, try. Wales, Josh Adams. Oh, great work, Ross Moriarty. At the base of that scrum, gets it away quickly. Thomas Williams to Jonathan Davis to Josh Adams, another try in this World Cup for the man. There it goes, brilliant. Faf the clerk tides in, arm steps in, the cozy steps in, quick hands from Jonathan Davis. Brilliant finish from Josh Adams. Half penny. Half penny. It is good off the boot of Lee Hart. 16 plays, 16, 15 to go. 16, plays 16. The ball here with South Africa, and now the arm goes out from referee Garces. To Clerk. Goes across the park. Pollard with the droppy attempt, it goes into the post, but you right know what? Of feet. He'll be having another dip in just a moment. Pollard. Andre Pollard. Lasers it. They're in the lead, South Africa. They've got four minutes to hold on. Sit. And here's forward pack. Help create a miracle here. South Africa angling towards the post. Penalty! Penalty, South Africa! They've done it. Their big men have gone to work. And they've juiced a penalty from referee Garces. Yeah, clearly the Welsh front row. They've got to try something. They will right now. Look at the South African bench. They know that's it. Game over. 
Andre Paul just asking the question from Jerome Garcez. He's going to tap. South Africa punch their ticket. They are off to the biggest game in rugby. They are World Cup finalists. Next week, it'll be the Springboks v England. Two good for Wales here. Full time, South Africa, 19.